Hey what's up guys Om here back again with a new video and in this video I'll be showing you how to upload your own very flutter application on Google Play Store. This video is being split up into two parts so this is the first part and the second part will be released soon. There's just a warning before you watch this video. If you watch the video without skipping a single part you will be able to follow the exact procedure and if you like the video please hit the like button it really helps me to create new content for you guys. So without wasting any further time let's get started. Firstly, this is our app and this is the app which we are going to upload on the Play Store. So initially the step one will be to get this app an icon. Now if you have already got an icon for yourself, feel free to skip to the next part. So I'm just going to go to the Android and then app source and then main res and there you see you have it so i'm just going to open it in the explorer okay right so yeah so we have this res folder in here now i'll just go to the desktop and this is the app icon which i want to upload to the application okay so let's go to chrome let's go to app icon dot co click on this click on the app icon click on open and this is the icon that we are going to upload be sure to turn all the apple devices off because we are just going to do this for the android play store okay so click on generate okay so it's generated it's downloaded now we're going to extract it to this very folder okay so it's already extracted it for us now we'll just copy this and move it to our rest folder and now the step is we are going to replace the files in destination remember this okay that's it now once the step is done close everything okay so now it's time to go to the flutter documentation to create an app release in for the android app which we had created in the flutter so the first thing that we need to do is run this command to create a key tool a key for signing up the app so for this we just need to copy this code and go to the terminal in android studio and then or you can also do one thing just press on windows and r button and then go to command prompt just paste and then all right so what we're going to do is we're going to edit this username as ohm over here and we just take the scroll to this ohm. all right that's it now one more step that we need to do is we need to delete this key because i have already created this key for myself i'm just showing you again how to create a key for your own very application so that's all and once you do this press on enter okay press enter all right so it will ask you a key store password let me enter mine okay so now it will ask your first and last name mine is om ambakar so once this is done press on enter now it's asking for organizational unit now i can enter or if you want to skip this you can just press enter and that's it but i'm just going to enter it for my convenience okay so city or locality i'm just going to skip it skip it skip it and then press yes over here all right so it's generating a key but before that we need to enter a password which we had already entered before and there you go friends you have your key ready in this path okay okay so in this step you guys might have a problem running the key tool which may give you an error which says key tool is not a recognized command and so to solve that just click on the i button above or check the links in the description all right so the next step is we need to copy all of this okay go back to android studio and in here create a new file remember i'm creating a new file which will be key dot proper and in here I need to paste it all right now what I need to do is just delete this 
and type in my password now remember one thing you need to remember these guys before you enter your password okay so I'm just gonna enter the password and blur the screen for you now keep the password same in both the cases okay now the location of this will be the location of this okay the key we just copy this from here and press backspace paste it over here now the next step is going to be to replace all the slashes with the forward slashes all right so we've got our key we have replaced the slashes in this and now let's just close this file and we go back to the documentation again and now what we need to do is we need to go to the android app build gradle file so back in the android studio we go to the app and then the build.gradle file all right so next step is we need to paste this this code above the android okay so let's look at the android here it is and now we need to paste it like this going back to the documentation okay so now the next step is to replace the build types the build types with all of this code okay so let's just find where yeah there it is we we look at the brackets initially you know so that we can select the perfect material or the perfect code and replace it and now we have done this also now the final step that is left is there is no step okay so just close this file and the next step is go to the end xml not in here yeah this is the android xml and here all we need to do is we need to change the name of the app so i'm just gonna type out torch the torch and also i'm going to add some permissions like this these two permissions okay like that all right now i also want to change the okay the package which is located right in here and i want to change it like com dot the torch the torch dot oa okay so this is the main big change that i had to do i have also replaced the icons i have replaced the package name the app name and all the permissions and i guess that's pretty much ready for exporting so go back to main dot dart and click on build click on flutter and here you can actually build apk or build app bundle but Play Store says that this is most probably the good choice to do. So I'm just going to build a app bundle. Okay. One thing that is left is I need to go to the build griddle and I need to change the target API to 29 and it is actually 28 right now. So let's find it. Let's locate it right now and change it. So let's just. Um, target yeah there it is and we need to change it to 29 okay if not it will give you an error um, yours might be different mine was 28 and it was giving me error at 28 so I just made it 29 and now it should work totally fine so I'm now going to click on build flutter and then app bundle now it may require a lot of time a lot less time also depending on the speed of your machine all right so as you can see the build is completed with exit code zero so that it has been successfully created that's all for this video if you like this video please hit the like button and the part two will be available right on the screen thank you for watching